So this is the three, four intake tube that connects from the intake to the air box. And on this inlet, this inlet here and this inlet, there's like three big box that goes there. And they're usually just for like the silencer or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this one up, that one up and this one here. So we're here at our Lowe's and we're gonna hit the plumbing department and get some uh, some end plugs and see what fits here. So our first one is a two inch plug countersink and these guys are on clearance. This is what it looks like right here, like that. And that one fits nice and snug into this biggest one here. And we'll go ahead and find the other twos. So that's what you need for the three, four. This guy here, two inch countersink. Our next plug is the smallest one out of the three and it's this guy here. So for that one, we went with the three and a quarter plug. And this one is a threaded one, but it is what it is. That's the part number. So I was able to thread it in there. And then all you have to do now is just go ahead and tighten that thing up. So that's why I got so far. Right now I'm looking for the second one here. This is the medium size. And I found this guy here. This is a one inch, one inch cap. And it fits in there, but it's not, it's not snug. But I think that if I tighten it, once I tighten this boot here, <laughs> that should be good enough. And I might go ahead and put some RTV around here too, just to make sure it's fully waterproof. So if I can't find anything that's snug, I'm going to go with this guy here. And I can, get, I can install this like this way. <laughs> I'll probably install it this way here, just to make sure that, so that looks better. But this is a one inch cap. For our third and last one, the medium size hole, I couldn't find anything, so I decided to go with the one inch cap. So it looks like this. It's not a snug fit. It fits right in there like that. But I think that if I go ahead and put some PVC, no, some uh, RTV around it, and then I go ahead and tighten it, it should be nice enough. This is just rubber, so that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna use this one, two inch one, and a three quarter thread plug. And now we have a much cleaner intake. I got the air box assembled back up and here's what I decided to come to. So we did went ahead and removed this big box here. This one definitely gets in the way. This one here is the back side and like I said this one's pretty annoying. So the bottom one is I decided to go with this one but I changed my mind. The bottom one doesn't really get in the way of anything. So I decided to go back and put the original one on. So the original one on is just like a little P-trap looking thing here. And it doesn't really bother anything. It's just stays, it just stays on the bottom. And the main thing was I didn't want all this little junk here. These things on the front and the back, they just get so much space. So that's what I wanted, a cleaner look. And um, I, under I understand that they do serve a purpose. These guys do serve a purpose. Um, usually if you get water in there, the water can fall in here and get trapped. So that's safer. But um, I'm going to go with this style here. And this is the style that I'm going for my airbox. Eventually, I'm going to go with here. And then I'm going to cut the air. No, I'm not going to cut the airbox. I'm not going to do the little, um, that little, whatever, that little mod that everybody always does. I'm not going to do that because I don't want that. So eventually, once I get the airbox set up, I'm going to go and do a snorkel. I want to go ahead and do a snorkel on my passenger side. So we'll have to cut the passenger fender and then go for a snorkel looking. So that's what I have for my intake. I'll keep you guys posted. Like I said, this is the last thing. Once we get the engine rock and rolling, then I can decide what I want to do. So that's what we're going to do here. And again, if you guys want to do this mod here, um, just go ahead and get these caps that I showed you guys earlier. And you can fill these up and get rid of these big bulky things here. Today's video, we will be discussing the dipstick for the 3.4 engine. This right here is the 3.4 dipstick. This one right here is the 3.0 dipstick. And this one here is the new one. That's the correct one for the swap. So you guys can see here, 3.4 is a bit shorter, 3.0 is a bit longer, and then the new one's a bit longest. This right here is the 3.4. This one here is the 3.0. And this one here is the new one. That's the part number. 
1-1-4-5-2-6-2-0-6-0. And this comes as a kit. You get the dipstick 2, the dipstick, and the O-ring. Uh, ran about $60 off a of toy-only swap. The nice thing about this one is that if you can install this one, it's a direct bolt-on. You don't have to do any modification. The 3.4 is a no-go, no so you can't even use that. So when you do this swap, just sell it, throw that away. You can't even use it, so don't even bother with it. The 3.0, you can use this one, but you have to do some modification, and I'll go ahead and show you what those will look like. You guys all know that from our previous video, the 3.4 dipstick is used to be right here. We went and plugged that already, and now we went right here. This is a new one. And again, the 2000 and older have the hole already in the block. If your motor is a 2000 or newer, you have to drill the hole into the block. And also, quick recap for anybody that didn't watch our previous video. We went with the 3.0 oil pan and the 3.0 pickup tube. The baffle stays the same. The 3.4 baffle stays the same. The only thing we did is cut one of the leg off of the 3.0 pick up two make sure you guys check out my other video if you guys didn't watch that one this right here is a 3.0 dipstick so you can see here it'll go in there but it doesn't clear the heat shell here so what people do is they cut a hole right here and then they'll stick it in and then it'll it'll get it get tightened up right here with this stud here but i didn't want to do that it's just too much hassle i decided to just go with the new one and here's the new one it's very similar. It curves, but it curves way more. You guys see how it curves? So it curves, goes around it, and goes between the alternator, and it gets clamped into these two bolts here. There's one right there, 10 mil, and one right there. So you guys see how nice it is? Boom. I'll go ahead and get this installed, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is the new dipstick here. Look at that. Really nice and clean beautiful <laughs> doesn't bother the heat shield doesn't run into any problem i had a little bit issue of getting the dipstick in there because um i kind of damaged the union here so that's totally my fault so i had to push it in real tight and uh i'm gonna put some rtv around here just in case so it doesn't leak <laughs> you guys also see that my oil cooler is right here so i decided that i'm gonna go ahead and delete my oil cooler so I ordered the kit where it, it blocks off the oil cooler, blocks off this hole, and then also block off the water pump. So I decided I'm going to remove the oil cooler and just make this engine super clean. So the only thing left is just the um, the uh, engine mount. And that's pretty much it on this side here. I did went ahead and replace this guy here because like I said, it was kind of dinged up from my previous one. So that's it for the oil dipstick. So quick recap. This is the oil dipstick 2 that we got from Toy Only Swap. Runs about 60 bucks. We can use our 3.0 pan, our 3.0 pickup 2 with one of the leg chopped off. And then if it's a direct fit on, no other modification, the 3.4 baffle is still in use. So hopefully this clears it up for everyone. You can use the 3.0 dipstick, but again, you have to do some modification, and then also it mounts into this stud right here. So I decided I wanted something just simple, and this is made for it. So I believe, I believe that the 3.4 motors on the T100, they're designed like this. So if you're trying to look for this part number, I believe this is originally from the, three, the T100 3.4, because I think that's how they do it. So. That's it right there. If you guys got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I'll show you guys the oil cooler once that piece gets in here. And we'll go from there. Talk to you guys next time.